Hello guys and welcome to a tutorial edition of City Skylines with me, Pug Gaming. Now a lot of you guys have been asking for tips and advice on how I created my recent peer in my episode 30 edition of the British Challenge. So I've created this quick little tutorial on how to do so, so let's get on with it. So to begin with you need the Move It mod. You also need to go on the workshop and get the sunken walls and also the canal walls. And what I did is I ensured that the papillon trees were not enabled. You can enable them if you like. I mean, I got rid of them because it gives us a bit more freedom and creativity when we come to actually placing these down, which we'll see a bit later on. So the first step is to draw out a road from the beach into the sea and what you need to do then is use the move it tool to bring up the levels using the page up button. Once this is done you need to then terraform to the same level around the road itself. This is what's going to allow us to place down the sunken walls and canal walls. Once this is done you may need to use the move it tool again to align the um, canal walls up a little better. Now for this pier in particular we've gone for a narrow um, entrance walk path and we're going to go for a sort of bigger sort of area at the top end which is where you're going to have all the activities sort of at this end which is kind of quite common in, in the UK for piers themselves. There are some that who have buildings along the middle section as well but I like the way we've got a small channel right up to the end. So what you want to do here is exactly the same as we've done earlier but we're going to draw a bit of a larger template around with the um, roads. So this is going to be the guideline for where we put down the sea walls and we're going to be using the other ones this time, we're not going to use the canal ones, we'll be using the, um, the main sea walls which are the ones which give us that nice that nice sort of pillar effect which is what we want to see at the end of this to make it look more like a pier and not a key. So again once they're placed down we'll be using the move it tool to make these line up in a much better position as they should be. So this does make life a lot easier and it also means you can get things looking a lot more realistic as you can see by moving this around I can now actually get parts to line up with one another and things do start to take shape quite quickly now. So this is the part that does require a bit of patience, you need to make sure that everything's lined up sufficiently and pretty much just do what you feel looks right. I moved these around a little bit too much at one point and there, there is a gap between perfection and workability so just keep that in mind and also recall that you do sometimes have to place the sea walls a little bit further away than where you want to go because there is limited space when you're building something out at sea like this. Now we're going to carry on exactly the same as we did a minute ago but with the canal walls now so I used the pathway itself as the guideline of where I want these to go because you want them all to be exactly level. If you don't get them exactly level then it's going to look a bit silly and not as good once you actually remove all the uh, or the foundations itself. So ensure that you get that as best as you possibly can before you decide to move on. So once you have everything in place, it's now time to begin to remove the foundation. So what I tended to do here is pretty much just pick the deepest points um, and just remove it just to see what it looks like. And as you can see, even though we're placing on roads, there is foundations on the bottom to allow people, well, allow it to be built on. So we're going to have to come across this issue a bit later on to try and hide this as you can see it. It's not that easy to see but I know it's there and for the others of you that are very much like me in terms of detailing you'll want to hide that away. So you'll see from this clip here on the left and right hand sides you do have these horrible sticking out sort of um, foundations and what I ended up doing in the end, as you'll see from this next clip, is I moved the two sides of the pier outwards just to fill that gap and then filled the rest, well, covered the rest with some walls to cut up the holes. Just made things look a bit more realistic, you can see here. And the next stage after that is pretty much just filling in the foundations again. So we're just spending more time now levelling out this area 
and just hiding as best we can. So you basically want to bring up your land level to as the highest peak possible before you're getting out of the water. So you just want to cover up enough. So I also put down some of these stones as well. They do look really good. You can cover the whole area with stones, but I did find this is a bit difficult to really make look realistic. But it's up to you. You can do what you like in this situation. You can either cover it up with the walls, sorry, with the foundation, or use some stones, or a mixture of both, is which I end up using. So there we have it. That's pretty much the way to create these new types of piers and they do look a lot better than using the sort of keys in my opinion it does bring out a little bit more realism in the build itself and these sea walls do look extremely attractive so all in all I think this works extremely well so guys I hope this video has helped you out I'll be extremely pleased to hear how you get on with your own builds and drop me a link in my social media networks I'd be more than happy to see how successful you've been or if you've got any questions or additional tips you'd like to add into this tutorial, by all means let me know. Uh, I have dropped a link below in the description of the Steam Workshop link so you can go straight to them. Any questions, by all means get back in touch. Other than that, all the best and happy peering.